Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we are taking another look at Leonardo because I saw some salty people in the comments uh, of the last video when we did the Irons team. Now, the reason I did do that Irons team and I thought I did a good job of explaining it was that I felt like for really high deficits that the frames and the damage increase from his nine furniture was really going to enable irons to push higher deficits at battles where he was otherwise struggling to get the damage throughput to actually win the game like obviously we have things like raku who's working really well because you know you got that hp scaling damage um works really well all the other core top tier teams obviously you've got lucretia cheese who's working fine by herself uh at the moment we've got things like portal party that works pretty well you know utilizing that endless cc and some pretty good ramping damage uh by the odin and stuff like that the the core teams at the top you can throw him into but i feel like they work without it but irons was the one that i thought really really that he enables so apologies to the people that got salty about the irons video this one we're going to look at some other teams now these teams aren't going to work as well at high deficits i find to make him work in teams at high deficits you have to use the meta teams as it is um and you know using things like owner and all that sort of stuff so it's really hard to enable niche teams so we're gonna look at some at a lower deficit in campaign here on kiasma give you guys some ideas if you're not a crazy high deficit pusher and you just want to have some fun with him because there is some cool comps uh that do work pretty well so let's get into it Okay, so take note of the deficit here. We're at 3.3 we're uh, billion. They're at 10 billion. When we go over to the tower, we are at 19 billion enemy power. So it's a lot tougher. Um, but this was a fun one that I, I, I really liked. Um, making Joker the main focus of the team uh, to allow basically Joker just to deal mass damage. We even just threw rain in there to have rain for the damage increase of it. Um, bit of fun on this team, but let's jump in and give you guys a look. So... I just, I really like Joker. You guys probably know that I really do enjoy Joker. I find him quite entertaining to use. Um, and I just love his whole kit along with Queen. But Queen ain't quite there yet. But um, as you can see, like, it's pretty, it's a, it's a pretty stable team. Like, you, there's not much else explanation that's needed there. You just buff the damage as much, much as possible and away you go. Um, and if we look at the damage, like, even, um, even what's her face like it doing some decent damage but that is the basic one i feel like he does have fantastic synergy with joker um but once again it's hard at the higher deficits to make that penetrate penetrate through the enemies and get the damage okay so this is the next team i kind of like i mean you guys know that i really do like the core of morrow uh with mezoth and rowan i think it's a really really solid core but i think he goes pretty well into this um also just adding to that early cc letting it ramp up and like i said th these guys should be pretty fine I, I i'd say maybe i need to swap where rowan is um the other thing that you can do okay we missed out on that one got got the rng boned but no okay let's try again let's try again one more time i was hoping it would be able to work like this let's, let's see how the cc lands oh we don't get the cannons off we're not getting the cannons off uh let's do it like this let's do it like this see where he teleports to let him teleport and live Oh, good teleport. Good teleport. There we go. Now we get the cannons. Now we get rolling. That's what I was trying to demonstrate. I feel like the, I, I really do like this team. Um, I think it's quite solid. And like like I said, I feel like he does add to it. Um, Like, you know, they're just, I don't know why that Khazard's still attacking when he was in a frame but yeah i feel like i feel like he he adds to that team core really well um and that one was a good one to show you like he look at that mez of dupes but he can actually be used quite well in the front row if you've got him maxed out where he can um only take that 10 percent damage um and then run away I, I feel like it does sometimes work uh to your advantage in that case and like this one here teleports right into the perfect protected position and then we just basically can endless cc like i said i don't know why that Khazard's still doing stuff but uh uh, you know he was so it is what it is uh but yeah really really solid in that one um and like i said that one you might we might like okay let's jump over to tower because i feel like that one because it's like another solid team core uh might be able to be usable at high deficits let's jump in here and have a look and see if we can get that to work no promises like i said 19 billion here uh, i was playing around with some racket teams trying to use some like unorthodox things don't judge don't judge i was having a bit of fun uh so let's go ahead and try that exact comp uh with rowan there we'll put the mezoth in here 
And then we'll put the, who was it? Who was it? Where is he? Where's Morrow? Morrow here. Where is he? Where my man at? Where my man at? Uh, guys. Oh, he's up the top. <laughs> he's right there. <laughs> he was first in line. Uh, and who else do we want to put? Uh, Rigby. Okay. Uh, this is actually, this is too high deficit to be doing stupid things, but uh, let's just see. Okay, he runs back to the good spot. Unfortunately, he got dropped. I think he might have got the thingy my bobby from the thingy my bobby, which kind of sucks. So let's try that again. Uh, do you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking maybe Eloard could help in this one. I don't know. Or pegs. I want to try pegs. Let's try the pegs. So there we go. He teleports to a really nice spot. Then we get the soldiers come in and take over. Unfortunately, he dies again. Fortunately, he's getting pummeled. That really makes me sad. Really does make me sad. I'm going to try this one a couple times and we'll come back. Okay, so I literally spent about 40 minutes trying that first stage, trying to find someone with damage. That that stage we were on, it had the, what was it? The Brutus, the Arthur, and the, uh, what's his face? Who was it? Thorin. And I just couldn't bring a team that could keep enough characters alive to do enough damage but luckily in this one uh we jumped over to this enemy a uh, bit more of a damage focused enemy team um that we managed to get through because we could get the damage out it's a very slow damage team this one uh, more relies on that control but ended up working this one with that deficit of the 19 billion power on the enemy um the astrada was there just to basically knock back the thane so he couldn't get his first strike in and then we just had to go for rng this took about six retries to get the victory um with, with when you're playing with this many cc characters with randomized cc uh you've just got to get lucky on the rng and eventually you'll get the victory so that's what we did with this one but you can see it's sort of it, he really does actually add to this team i think i think he adds core stability to it and this is like the core of mezoth uh morrow and rowan is just something that i personally really enjoy i don't think it's not like a top team i just really like the core uh, but it does lack damage so he does bring that damage increase still the team lacks a bit of damage um but nonetheless i think he does add to this sort of team um and give it a, a, li a little bit more you know stability in the way it works but I'm pretty exhausted now because like I said, I, I I started this video an hour and 20 minutes ago. I, I spent a long time in there. But what we can do is we can try one more. Uh, let's go into what I was trying. I think I was trying on this one because I really wanted to make some unorthodox characters work beforehand when I was testing. That's the other thing. I did about three hours of testing before this video. It's a long video. Um, but something I was testing that I was having a lot of fun with, uh, didn't quite get it to work, but it was like a fun one to me was this plus we had the Raku. So the Raku team, obviously, but going with a bit of an unorthodox one, kind of because we do have, you know, the Nara to deal with and stuff like that. We were trying to, you know, make it happen a bit differently in this one. Um, and then I was also having the Leonardo. We'll do a couple of retries so we can get. The idea here was uh, Scrag and Drez. Obviously, Drez is going to get grabbed by the Nara, roll out, and then come back and then gain the buff was the idea. Uh, we've got Granite there to obviously die and um, turn things to stone. So with, with this formation, I do think he synergized quite well with Granite for the early fights uh, in a Raku team because... Granite dies, turns, stuns these guys at the top, uh, and then he's going to use his cannon and stun the bottom guys. So you do get a full field stun uh, in that. Now, obviously, normally you just play him here and not even need the granite, but because we do have that narrow, it's a consideration that we had to take in for this one. Now, like I said, this I, I didn't get this to win. I just wanted to show you the basic strategy behind it. Um, why did that Grizzle not get CC? That kind of sucks. Let's try again. I'll, 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 if, if we don't get it in the next couple... Mate, wait, do I have gear on... What's his face? On granite? Why, why is everyone getting past Granite now? Granite, Granite's not doing his job properly. I, I, and I did play around with Granite with having gear, not having gear, uh, putting gear, like all different things. I, I, I tried a lot. Let's just remove gear. He's a really hard one to play, Granite. Like you want him to die. That, see, that's better. With our gear, worked better. Worked much better. Uh, but now we might get a... Ooh, okay. And because we do have the Aziz in the enemy team, like I said, I did a lot of retries. Got really close on a couple. Uh, it just comes down to, you know, enemy's energy, trying to get that ult before them. Who, Whether we can keep a little bit of CC on the Isabella. Like that. There we go. We got that. Really, really solid. We do lack that damage. The idea was the Drez. Uh, honestly, if this enemy team didn't have the Brutus, we'd probably have a chance. Um, but the problem is everyone... I don't know what it is about every character in the game. If they've got like a big oomph attack, 
they they just decide that the right enemy to use it on is the Brutus. Drez, Racker, you know, Racker, we like because we don't have an Ezio in this team. I tried it with the Ezio, I couldn't get him to fit into the team. But it's like everyone just wants to focus, like Lucretia, everyone wants to focus everything they have on Brutus when he's got his shield up. <laughs> and it is incredibly frustrating. But I think um definitely he will work in Racker teams. Like I said, I was trying to use some unorthodox stuff there. Um, but definitely lower deficits, easy fit into a Raku team. Um, let's just jump over to campaign on an easier deficit because I can't be bothered spending another hour pulling my hair out on stages and people wonder why I don't do high deficit pushes. That's why you just end up like you end up losing too much of your day and it's, you know, <laughs> You know, I know my job is gaming now, but it's like, dude, that just gets frustrating. And I know some people love it and props to those people, but let's go ahead and try something like this. Let's get, uh, let's get him in there with Leonardo. Um, what do I want to try? That's more realistic for Raku. Hmm. I let's, let's just, actually, let's go, let's go team one. What's team one. Yeah. Let's try and beat this. Let's try and beat this. Okay, so we do have that. So we can put a Lyca in for that. Go pretty basic on that. And I'm hoping that with the Raku team, like we'll bring Ezio uh, because Ezio is cool. Like I really love Ezio with that. Um, and we could almost bring an Arthur. Not an Arthur. Pfft, like we could bring an Arthur. But I was going to say we could bring Merlin as a little bit of protection. But I want to bring something a bit different. Let's do that. Let's see how this goes with Queen. Does Queen die instantly? No, Queen lives a little bit. Queen lives a little bit. Look at Queen go. Look at Queen go. Now, frames, please. Thank you. And like I said, di didn't really need the frames. Like, uh, it, I love lower deficits. It's so much better. But that's just an example of something that you can do. I think he works really well with Raku. Um, I think even something like Kren, I, I honestly think at lower deficits, any, any main carry that bases their damage on attack rating and doing that kind of damage is going to be helpful i think kren being another one um just because you know you want to be doing all that damage you want kren to do it he cc's if they're in a frame you know it adds to it but it, he has overlapping synergies as well because when kren's doing his thing he's he's knocking them up anyway he doesn't need it but you know he helps get to that stage so you know what? Let, let's actually let's try a quick kren one for the funds Let's go begin, begin. All right, let's just do this. Let's do this. Uh, let's drop you. Let's let's try let's try and build a real cheese ball team here. Let's do it with you to buy Kren some time. Hopefully you die. Actually, we might do it that way. Uh, and who can we fodder off? Let's do the Drez again. Let's do the Drez because I mean, I'm in the Drez mood today. I'm in the Drez mood. Drez doesn't get anywhere near enough love. Ah, Kren, you died, buddy. You died too fast. Ugh. Right, let's do that. Actually, this ain't going to work. There's no, no chance that works. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Hold it. Hold it for the Kren. Hold it for the Kren. Ah, oh, jeez, Kren. Come on, buddy. You're better than that. You... <laughs> You're better than that. Actually, I want to make this work now. That's a bit of fun. That is a fun team. I, I just love it when Queen lives and she actually gets the swirly swirlies happening. Uh, back in a sec. Okay, that's the last one. As much as I wanted to make Kren work, I just looked at the team and I'm like, no, no, no. This this is a really good one to slot Joker into. So, so we slapped the Joker in there uh, and away we went. Once again, not the highest deficit in the campaign here. Um, but basically, Leonardo, I think he's I think he's really solid. Like I said, high deficits, I feel like he really does help that irons out uh, is my main use for him at high deficits. Lower deficits, I feel like he can be used in anything, but a good tech option. I feel like people will find a lot of situations to find depending on the enemy teams where you can tech him in um, and he can definitely help. I mean, having that cannon that happens so quick that can CC the whole enemy team, I, it, it definitely adds to that early value of teams. However, it is a little bit slow, meaning, you know, it's not going to protect a front row squishy enough. So, you know, Oln is always going to be a thing and, you know, meta is always going to be meta and I don't think he completely puts anything new into the meta um, but I feel like he is complimentary and for the lower deficits you know have fun people anyway let me know what you guys are using thanks for watching hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing the next one cheers